Hey guys, what is up? Happy Thursday and most importantly, happy Halloween. And so before I dig into the Ask Laurel thread, which by the way, there are only four questions this week. So you guys must be busy implementing, which is amazing. Um, I just wanted to uh, remind you guys that on Monday, we are actually going to have a workshop on putting together the entire ads ecosystem from start to finish. And so if you are wondering where does the strategy fit in with what you doing, this is the perfect call to come to. Make sure that you are on time because I do close and stop letting people in about five minutes after we get started. And as always, there's a replay. I'm always gonna give you guys replays. And so just wanted to start off the call reminding you guys about that. And also, I want to shout out to Paul Richardson, who's put together this Notion document of all of the ecosystem stuff. And so a lot of people um, have been thanking him for that. And so, Paul, thank you, thank you, thank you for being so generous to my community. Um, I just love this community. It is so freaking valuable for, for so many people. And that's all because of people just like Paul who are sharing all of their amazing resources and wisdoms. Um, let's see, make sure that every single week you are checking the featured section. This is where anything that's important that I need you to know, that is where that is going to be um, put. I'm one of those people that likes everything in one place. And so anything that I need you to know, it's always gonna go inside this featured section. Um, also, if you are brand new to the program, please, please, please make sure that you are watching two very important videos that are inside the start here section. Um, one will talk about how the program works. And the second one will actually talk about how the Facebook community works because we do have certain rules in place. And that is because I want that Facebook group to be the most valuable Facebook group when it comes to getting results with Facebook ads. So please, please, please just take the time and watch those two videos in the start here section. There's no reason that anyone should be lost, but if you are lost, just make sure that inside the Ask Laurel thread, you're telling me what videos you watched, where you got lost, and it actually helps me keep improving the program. Like every single week I am improving something in this program. And so your feedback um, is greatly appreciated at all times. And so uh, before you uh, use the Ask Laurel thread, also just make sure that you are reading the rules. Um, there are certain rules in place, like how to get your power offer looked at, um, anything that you need as far as like troubleshooting. Um, the deadline is typically Wednesday at five o'clock central. Yes, sometimes we turn it off two minutes early. I know some people get mad. I'm like, but here's a little hack for that, okay? Every single Wednesday on your calendar, just put it in at 9 a.m. in the morning. Say, hey, do you have anything to ask Laurel? That's what my most successful students do every single morning. They make sure that they get their questions in so they don't miss it. And then of course, on the Thursday, I go live just like I'm doing right now and I answer those questions. Um, most important rule, do not stay stuck. I love every single one of you guys, and so I wanna make sure that we are being as helpful as possible. So anyway, let's get this special edition of the Ask Laurel Thread Halloween style. By the way, I am wearing my uh, Freddy Krueger shirt. Um, I think it's freaking hilarious. It says, follow your dreams, and if you guys know Freddy Krueger, you know why that's funny. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and I'm going to organize these based on all comments. And so let's start off with Miss Jo Ann. She says, hello, new to the support and so glad I have found it. Well, we're happy that you're here. For context, I'm a registered social worker in Canada who has specialized my private therapy practice in grief support for many years. I still manage a full-time therapy practice and want to expand to online products. I know my client avatar well. I know the gap. I have developed but not really launched a $9 a month educational membership, a main membership for $50 that includes the educational membership plus live weekly support and a self-guided grief study that also includes live group mentorship for $500 a one-time cost. Little to no following on Facebook and Instagram as my YouTube is my preferred platform. I have organically built a 19,000 subscriber invisible list on YouTube. I have a lot of comments and engagement among my viewers. 220 videos posted over the last three years and just over a million views. Wow, Joanne, congratulations. That is amazing. This has been a labor of love. 
that I am pretty proud of, but now need to become a labor of love and abundance. My question is, do I start the flywheel as a cold audience or warm audience? Post a value bomb video as an ad on my competitors' channels and anyone who has watched my videos or subscribed, then follow up with the shorts as a conversion multiplier. Not wanting to take shortcuts as your instructions are so valuable, but just wanting to start from the right trajectory. Thanks for any direction and wisdom. So... Let's see, it says, I've organically built a 19,000 subscriber invisible list on YouTube. This is amazing. So here's what I would do, okay? Here's what I would do. I would go into the YouTube, let's see, it is the YouTube advertising section, and I would do two things, okay? The first thing that I would do is I would place your conversion multipliers on your YouTube channel and I would run it to all of your subscribers and I would run another one all to your viewers, right? Because those are two separate things. Some people might be viewing your YouTube videos but not actually subscribing. And then some people might be subscribed but not actually watching your videos. So that's why I would do the conversion multiplier two times. Now, here's how I have conversations on YouTube if you haven't found your way there. Now, here's the other thing that I would do. I would make three videos, each describing the membership, who it's best for, and the specific problem that it solves, and I would literally run it as an in-stream ad, meaning you're going to run these ads before people um, are watching uh, videos on YouTube, right? And I would run it to your warm audience. I wouldn't even, at this point, I wouldn't even run it in front of your competitors. I would literally... Um, exploit the heck out of your warm audience. And any time that you post a new video on YouTube, I would literally just be boosting it for like $2 a day on YouTube. Um, this is awesome. I love when people come in and they have built like an incredible YouTube following. Um, Joanne, that's what I would do. I would run everything to warm traffic on YouTube and have call to actions um, for each of your memberships. I have a YouTube ad running um, for people to join the $7 program. Um, $2 a day and I just run it to my warm audience and it just sends people straight to the wait list. Let's see. Becky says last week, you pointed me to your training on re-engaging Facebook groups. It was great. And I can totally see myself asking the assessment questions to connect with folks, having a weekly support thread like you do and having a monthly workshop. All good. The only issue is this. My free Facebook group has 16,000 folks, therapists who join us randomly because they've heard of us or the group is just suggested to them by Facebook. Wow, that is an amazing asset. Man, two people. Look, 19,000 people subscribe on YouTube for Joanne and 16,000 inside a Facebook group for Becky. Wow. Lots of people with amazing assets today. Um, my free group on Facebook group has 16,000 folks. We do tell them what it's about, online marketing strategies for growing their practices. However, a lot just join because they have been they have been vague goal, goal, goals of growing. They aren't yet engaged in online marketing because it's not as focused as your group. There are many discussions in the group about client intakes, insurance questions that are so general, therapy, business questions that have nothing to, that have nothing to do with websites, SEO, Google ads, which my, is what my agency teaches about offers and done for you services. I have a paid school group, $19 a month or a $97 one-time course purchase where I teach them how to create a proper website with good SEO, but never really focused on marketing. We mainly do agency services. I have about 100 folks in that group. So my question is this. Would you recommend that I put my training in the large Facebook group and implement your system for engagement there and just tell them that the questions for me need to be websites, SEO, Google ads, pros, large group of professionals I serve, cons, not as focused as I like? Or do you think I should just start marketing my training and build my school group more? So here's, so, so here's what I would do. I would literally utilize this Facebook group of 16,000 people and I would actually make it um, a very specific focus, right? And so you can turn that group into, hey, and, and make an announcement for everyone. Hey, from now on, this group is going to be fo focused on three phases of marketing when it comes to therapists. One, organic marketing, you know, paid advertising, and building an email list or something like that, right? Make it super focused. People who aren't interested in that stuff are gonna opt out of it anyway, and you want that it'll because it'll actually boost the engagement inside your Facebook group. But the short answer is you should do the graduation framework for both, right? Because 
you want to ascend people from the free group into the paid group and then the paid group into something else as well. So in both scenarios, you're going to want to implement this group strategy. Um, so that's the short answer, but I would definitely, because that group of 16,000 people is a huge asset. I would make that as focused as fast as possible and do some type of re-engagement post, like the assessment post to get people commenting so that you can, you can ignite the, the spark for marketing in that group. That's what I would do. But Becky, great asset that you've built there. Let's see. Mike says, Hey, Laurel context. I'm a clarity and decision making expert, author, and coach. I focus on helping women consider considering divorce, get clarity and certainty about whether to divorce or not in 30 days or less. Question. If I understand the ecosystem correctly in phase one with an indirect offer of a value bomb, the CTA for the three to five minute power content and one minute conversion multiplier videos is to have them write a comment on the post to claim the value bomb. My concern is that considering divorce is a private and sensitive topic, so maybe many women may not want to publicly. Would the strategy work if the CTA was to DM, DM me? So yes, so instead, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to run that as a messenger campaign versus an, so what, when you're gonna launch those power content videos and those conversion multipliers, instead of launching it as a um, video view campaign, you're gonna launch it as an engagement campaign for messenger and then select messenger as the optimization and you could actually put a messenger button so your videos are going to have a messenger button at the bottom so absolutely um, as a matter of fact mike if you need a walkthrough of how to actually do that personally reach out to me actually, actually you know what i'm going to do something i'm actually going to tell you to comment below this video inside the, uh, the the Facebook group, and I will hook you up with a Loom video if you need it, or if anyone needs a video on how to actually place the messenger um, version of a power content video or a conversion multiplier, just comment below this video and I will hook you up with the Loom video. Um, let's see, Jenny says, hey Laurel, I teach marketing experts, content creators, and coaches who take their content and publish it into bookish form on Amazon to create another income stream. Publish it to a book, I think. Um, question, I want to run YouTube ads, but I accidentally got my ad account suspended. I have a 7K sub YouTube channel attached to it. What should I do? Use my husband's Google account, start a business account to run YouTube ads. I'm currently running Facebook ads and my low ticket is converting. So what I would do is I would actually jump on chat with Google. Google is so amazing. They are so much better. I'm sorry, Facebook, but Google is so much better at being able to walk you through that scenario. Um, anytime I need help with Google ad accounts, I always go to Google and there's always like a person that's willing to chat. Like they'll let you book a call. They are just so freaking awesome when it comes to support. Google actually wants you to spend money with them. Um, not that Facebook does and Facebook is an awesome platform as well. So, um, but anyway, I would get on with Google support and have them walk you through what to do because you might actually get your Google ad account back. I've had to do it for a couple of clients who wanted to run YouTube ads. And so that would be my, um, my word of advice um, because anything, any other account that you open up and you connect the YouTube channel because the YouTube channel was connected to the other restricted account, it might cause issues. It might not though. Um, but my go-to for this type of thing is always Google support. Like I said, they are so much better at Facebook um, at helping you guys like go through all of that um, that restriction stuff. So um, anyway, four questions, man. That's awesome. Um, I guess all of you guys were busy getting stuff done. And uh, yeah, that's it for the Ask Laurel thread today. If you guys have any questions at all, throw them in next week's thread. The next thread will be up on Monday. Um, but just as a reminder, make sure you're checking the featured section every single week. As always, every first Monday of the month, we've got our conversions over coffee, the next one being on Monday. I will see you guys on Zoom.